Welcome to Smile Your TV. I won't say it. Hello. Thanks for stopping by. Um, sounds like a boring video now, doesn't it? Hey, welcome to Smile You're On TV. It is a Sunday morning. We're in the middle of nowhere with traffic all around us, but this is Dave. And Dave wants to talk to us about some rider stuff. Before I start this, that I'm not here to teach anybody to suck eggs. Nice bike. Nice guy lift. Put your comments down below and tell the man who doesn't know what he's doing. Well, here I am in my lounge. It's a bank holiday weekend and I have shot this video now three times. Maybe even four. <laughs> Maybe now five. Now, welcome along to my lounge. It is a beautiful bank holiday weekend and you join, well, I say it's beautiful. Actually, it's typical bank holiday weekend. But you join me on the bank holiday weekend saying hello to you and there is a reason why. There's always a reason why. Now you will see from the preview that before this bit that I actually said I am not an expert in any way, shape or form and I should never, ever, ever say that I am because I'm not. I'm just a biker like you. I'm just a guy that can give some experience. And today I have an experience that I would like to share with you and it is all about buying a helmet. Now you've probably bought hundreds of helmets and I've bought a few myself really in my very short time of being a motorcyclist well not short but you know what I mean and uh, I bought a helmet today and I learned some things because previously and I'm about to show you I bought a helmet called a Shubath C3 Pro and the Shubath C3 Pro has served me very very well it is a lovely helmet and you will have seen it in some of my videos previously now I wanted to show you the fit of that particular helmet now I do believe it fitted a little bit better when I first bought it but I have found that uh, it's not fitting anymore and there was a story to it because I went and bought the Arai and the Arai was a medium and the Shoebirth was a, la was a large and I've had all sorts of different helmets with all sorts of different sizes. I'm pretty convinced my head is pretty much the same kind of shape it was. Now I'm not saying my brain is any bigger or any smaller, that has probably shrunk over a period of time. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what I learned today from a lady called Sue who works at the sports bike shop in Milton Keynes. Sue spent a lot of time with me, bless her. She's not on camera, I wouldn't make her do that at all because that's just not fair. It's just me in my lounge now so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what I learned today. So I said I've done this a few times and yes I have done this a few times. This is the helmet that I had. It is the Shuba C3 Pro and it is a lovely helmet. Absolutely lovely and I have this helmet because I do most of my vlogging in it and I have the Pack Talk Bold fitted to it. The Pack Talk Bold mainly to talk to my passenger of course but the Pack Talk Bold is good. Now I'm going to quickly show you this because I don't want to bore you too much and as I said I am no expert but we have tried this helmet on today and Sue tells me that uh, the way it should and shouldn't move. So um, one of the first things to try, um, excuse me, is uh, what the movement is. I'm going to undo this strap. What the movement is here and whether it moves and then also whether it actually goes left to right. And you'll see with this helmet, that actually pretty much there's quite a lot of turning that can be done. So you probably already know what I'm about to tell you. There is far too much room in this helmet and I can get my hand all the way up there. And apparently you're only supposed to comfortably be able to get a couple of fingers. So it's a bit of a mover and it's not good. Now, I didn't know that. I'm, you know, I'm like a lot of you guys, you know, if it fits and it's comfortable and there's no pressure points, then it's good, right? And apparently that's not the case. So I learned something out today. Now, more confusing, this is a large. And when I wanted to buy this helmet, which is the Arai from, it's the debut from the, uh, the Arai, which, works very well, goes absolutely fantastically with my R9T. The colour scheme is just like bob on and that's the reason I want it. I saw this online and thought yes I need one of those and as the shoe berth isn't large I thought a large one of these is the right way to go. So I had a day off work and I went all the way over to Lincolnshire to a place in Lincolnshire and uh, went to try on a large one and the lady told me immediately that it was the wrong size for me. So I thought I was a medium. Anyway, I'll just try this one on quickly. Goes on lovely, fits like a glove. 
comes off reasonably tightly, but there's no pressure points around my head. So that fits beautifully without particularly any other inserts. Anyway, what did I find out today? I'll tell you. So to cut a really long story short, I've been shopping around for helmets and I tried the Shubath C4 Pro. Problem is that comes up, that comes with all of the communication stuff in it that I don't need because I've got the Packtalk Bold. And I love the Packtalk Bold, personally. Dave doesn't, who's one of the guys that rides with us, although he has got one for his group riding. But I tried on this helmet today. This is the Shoei Neotech 2. Now I realise that there's lots of helmets out there. There's Shubuth, there's Shoei, there's Arai, there's Scorpion, there's Shark, there's lots of the ones. There's the HJCs, there's the Anyway. You know the list is long and wide and heads are a very, very different shape. And some people say you're either an Arai person or you're a Shoei person. Well, I'm proving you wrong because I am a Shoei and an Arai now. And this is the Neotech 2. I am not selling this helmet to you. What I am saying is what I found out today by going into the sports bike shop and by having conversations with Sue, I've realized that it is massively, massively important to go to sports bike shop or somewhere similar and actually speak to somebody that really knows what they're talking about when fitting. And I'll tell you the reasons why. I went in there and wanted to try on the medium version of this. So Sue helped me. Um, and the reason I tried on the medium is because I knew obviously the shoe buff were in large was too big and I'd got the medium in the Arai, which was perfect. So I tried this on in the, per in the medium. And as soon as I did, these side bits here, I'd got a lot of pressure. So what Sue did is she said that what we're gonna do is we will try the large shell. So we tried the large shell and then uh, that fitted a lot better, but was still a little bit loose around here. So it was better at the side, but too loose around here. So what we did is we went with the large shell. She has changed this inner um, liner here, this, the skull liner. She's changed it for a different shape. And then what she's done is she's added some padding around uh, the front area there so that it fits much better to me. So I haven't got the pressure on the sides now and I've filled the pressure from here. So as I said, we're all different shapes in heads so it is worth somebody who knows what they're talking about. So we did the normal kind of tests but this thing actually fits, I'm gonna say like a glove but you know what I mean, it actually fits like a helmet that's supposed to fit properly. So I've still got all of my communication to put in this now, but I do know that the pack torque bold uh, fits on this because I've actually fitted one in a helmet for Chris. So this all fits lovely now. It, it does squash in my cheeks, so when, this, when, the, when the lid's down, I can feel my cheeks, um, uh, but I don't have any consistent, I, don't, I have constant uh, a feel around here, and obviously a couple of fingers will just go up there, but not my whole hand. Um, it's supposed to and then if I rock it forward and backwards it actually um, doesn't move too much so it actually fits really really well much less room than what was in the shoe booth so that's great so the message and the reason for the video is go to a proper shop take some time get it fitted and don't buy a helmet just because it looks good and I've done it before where you go to places like the BMF, nothing wrong with buying from there as long as you know what you're buying if it's something you've bought before. But check the date, check the manufacturing date, check that what you're buying is actually fit for your head because we are all a different head size. And that's the reason why I wanted to share this, not only to say thank you to the sports bike shop in Milton Keynes, particularly to Sue, uh, but also just to kind of make sure we, you don't make the same, same mistakes that I've made before. Um, and if you've got any suggestions of videos that you would like me to do in the future, or for me, for either, for Chris or for Dave, who you've seen on the channel before, if there's something that you would like to see or something for us to do, please let us know in the comments down below. If you think that what I'm talking about here is an absolute load of rubbish, I'd also like to know those comments. What have I missed? What have I forgotten? And what haven't I actually said that I should say? Tell me, that'd be great. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. That helps with the YouTube gods and the algorithms and things like that. If you don't like the video, give me the thumbs down and tell me the reasons why. That would be absolutely brilliant. Sorry, but I've tried the style many times and I've had to stick with what I've got here. Because that's who I am. 
Take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for doing whatever you've done. Um, we'll see you hopefully soon on something else, doing something else. Hopefully some bloody riding. <laughs>